was Dumbledore the first person Snape killed in Harry Potter? It's complicated. It's often assumed that Severa Snape would have committed several murders before killing Albus Dumbledore, but some arguments could be made that this instance in Harry Potter was his first time. Avada Kedavra seemed to be a standard spell for the Death Eaters during the two Wizarding Wars. Voldemort especially had no qualms with using the curse around every corner. As a member of the Dark Lord's inner circle, Snape might have been expected to torture and kill muggles and wizard kind alike, but since the Harry Potter books and movies provide no concrete examples, this could be debated. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Dumbledore planned his own death with Snape so that Draco Malfoy could be spared the burden of committing murder. Of course, even Dumbledore's closest confidants didn't know about this arrangement, so it seemed to both the Order of the Phoenix and Voldemort's Death Eaters that Snape had killed the Headmaster in cold blood. It wasn't until the end of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows that Harry learned that his potions master had been a double agent, solidly on Dumbledore's side since Lily Potter's death. Still, Snape had once been a genuine Death Eater. Though it's not clear precisely when Snape became a Death Eater, it must have been shortly after leaving Hogwarts since he was only 21 years old when Voldemort murdered Lily and James Potter. Additionally, in Snape's memories in Deathly Hallows, Lily accused Snape of aspiring to become one of Voldemort's followers when he left school something he couldn't deny. If he achieved this goal as quickly after turning 17 as he hoped, it's difficult to imagine that Snape managed four years as a Death Eater without killing anyone. Voldemort's growing power revolved around wizarding supremacy, and it's known that, during the first wizarding war, the Dark Lord and his followers attacked and killed countless muggles and muggle-born witches and wizards. This was the main appeal of Voldemort's mission for Snape since his abusive father had been a muggle. It's also important to remember that not all Voldemort's followers were Death Eaters this title was reserved for those in the Dark Lord's inner circle. If Snape had made it to such a rank, Voldemort would likely have required proof of loyalty, and nothing would have spoken louder than blood. There are some valid arguments that support the claim that Dumbledore was Snape's first direct kill. Though the Harry Potter movies missed this fact, the books put a lot of focus on the effects of murder on a person's soul. Regardless of whether someone is making a horcrux, killing splits the soul into pieces, and the only way to repair the damage is for the person who committed the crime to feel genuine remorse. It's supposed to be a horribly painful process, and one that Voldemort and many of his followers were incapable of. Dumbledore mentioned in Snape's memories that this was why he didn't want Draco to be the one to kill him, to which Snape replied, and my soul, Dumbledore. The fact that Snape was concerned for his soul indicates that it had not yet been damaged in such a way. Still, if his soul had already been repaired by remorse, he may have been concerned about splitting his soul again but the behavior of other Death Eaters towards Snape suggests otherwise. Bellatrix Lestrange was never convinced that Snape was on Voldemort's side, accusing the man of doing nothing of value to Voldemort's cause. She seemed to believe that his skills didn't extend beyond being a spy, which implies that he wasn't one of Voldemort's fighters but had a more passive role instead.